Lucretia Rudolph was born in Garrettsville, Ohio, as the daughter of the co-founder of Western Reserve Eclectic Institute. She was a devout member of the Churches of Christ. Her ancestry included German, Welsh, English, and Irish. Her paternal great-grandfather emigrated to Pennsylvania from Württemberg, Germany. After attending a seminary school where she met James Garfield, Lucretia attended the Eclectic Institute. Lucretia studied all of the classics and learned to speak Greek, Latin, French, and German. Additionally, she studied science, biology, math, history, and philosophy. She graduated from Hiram College and then became a teacher. She first met James Garfield in 1849 while she was attending school at Hiram College where James was her teacher in Chester, Ohio. He then went to Williams College while she stayed behind to begin teaching in Cleveland, Ohio and Bryan, Ohio. They then began correspondence and became engaged shortly after. Both James and Lucretia were 26 when they married on November 11, 1859. The newlyweds did not take a honeymoon. The Garfields had seven children. Their first and last died in early childhood and four sons and one daughter lived to maturity. James Garfield's election to the presidency brought a cheerful family to the executive mansion in 1881. Though Lucretia Garfield was not particularly interested in a first lady's social duties, she was deeply conscientious and her genuine hospitality made her dinners and twice weekly receptions enjoyable. Aside from hosting dinners and receptions, Lucretia advised her husband on whom to select as cabinet officers and her choice of Secretary of State, James Blaine, proved to be successful. Her earlier education instilled in her an interest in history and she began to make plans to make the historical executive mansion the cultural center of DC. Lucretia went to the Library of Congress to research the history of the executive mansion. Her intent was not to restore the executive mansion but to bring a sense of history to it. Unfortunately, she contracted malaria and by the time she recovered, President Garfield had been shot and killed and she was no longer the first lady. She was still recovering in Elberon, New Jersey, when her husband was shot on July 2, 1881 at the Baltimore and Potomac Railroad Station in Washington, D.C. The First Lady hurriedly returned to Washington, D.C. by special train. As her train raced south, it was speeding so fast that the engine broke a piston in Bowie, Maryland, and nearly derailed. Lucretia Garfield was thrown from her seat but not injured. After an anxious delay, she reached the executive mansion and immediately went to her husband's bedside. After his death and funeral, the bereaved family went home to their farm in northern Ohio. For another 36 years, she led a strictly private but busy and comfortable life, active in preserving the records of her husband's career. She created a wing to the home that became a presidential library of his papers. She spent winters in South Pasadena, California, where she built a home she helped design with the celebrated architects Green and Green, to whom she was distantly related. Lucretia died at her South Pasadena home on March 13, 1918, at the age of 85. Her casket was placed above ground beside the coffin of her husband in the lower level crypt of the James A. Garfield Memorial at Lakeview Cemetery in Cleveland, Ohio.